And for more on all that, we can cross now to Dakar and Sam Bradpiece, who has been following events for us. Uh, good evening, Sam. What does this mean now for the country and how it will be governed going forward? Can you tell us a little bit more? Well, what's interesting is that this situation is completely unprecedented. It's never happened before in Senegal that you've had a parliament controlled by the opposition while the executive branch remains controlled by the government. Uh, but potentially the consequences could be massive. Uh, Macky Sall, the current president, could struggle to push ahead with his legislative agenda uh, if the deputies, the MPs in the National Assembly, don't vote in accordance kind of with the government, which now looks like a very real possibility. Uh, another potentially major consequence uh, is that this electoral result may well have punctured any hopes that the president, Macky Sall, might have had of running for a third term in 2024, a move that the opposition have always looked at uh, as unconstitutional, controversial at the very least. So, as you said, there are major upset for Macky Sall and uh, his hopes for a much criticised third uh, term. Tell us about the road to victory for the opposition and how they, they got to this place of, of upsetting uh, expectations, I suppose. Yeah, I've been speaking with Senegalese voters for weeks now and there is one issue that keeps coming back to me. Uh, that's the cost of living. Uh, quite simply, Senegal, like many countries around the world, is experiencing very high inflation at the moment. The IMF predicts that inflation will reach 5.5% at the end of the year. And many people are simply fed up with it. Even if it's not necessarily the government's fault, it's not necessarily a case of economic mismanagement, but people are kind of venting their frustration, perhaps through the polls. That would be uh, my analysis, certainly. Just one thing to mention, though. Macky Sall's governing majority uh, may well be able to convince some uh, opposition MPs to join them, which could, again, drastically change the whole picture here.